Hi guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite the beautiful Nali Ock here to create this undone, soft, smudgy, smoky eye makeup look for you. I hope you enjoy the video and give it a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumb up, and don't forget to follow both Natalie and me on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep skincare first. The first product I'm using is the lip balm from Tatcha. This is a very beautiful lip balm. If you wear lip balm alone without lipstick, this is great. It gives you a little sheen. It's actually quite nice sheen. And if you want lipstick on top, then I recommend to blot them down before you apply your lipstick, just so it doesn't change the lipstick texture too much. The next step I'm using is I'm going to do eye cream, but I just got these two cooling sphere from Rose Ink, and it's amazing. You can put this on the fridge, and it's really cold, close your eye, and you just roll around the eye. This is great to depop the eye, and you can also do that to depop the face as well. It's nice and cool, right, Natalie? Yeah. yeah. So nice. If you have time, just really doing that for a few minutes, and it's really gonna depop everything. And the same thing on the face, you can do this as well. Next step I'm using is some eye cream from Rose Ink. This is a beautiful eye cream that she just launched. It is perfect under makeup. Look out for me. It has nesanamide, all the great ingredients I love. Close your eye for me. The next product I'm using is some serum from Rose Ink. This is the Radiant and Hydrating Serum. You don't need to use too much. It's quite hydrating at the same time. Just gentle press the product in the skin a little bit at a time. And last but not least, is the most important, is a moisturizer from Tatcha as well. Work the moisturizer in the hand first, then you press in the skin. I normally like quite hydrated on the skin, so I use a little more moisturizer than most people. I always blot it off after, but I like quite a bit so I can do the popping, massaging, the face just really really work the skin before you prep in especially the look I'm doing is not a strong makeup it's actually really good if you prep the skin well If you feel that you apply too much moisturizer, you can use a big brush like this or a beauty blender sponge or anything of sponge that you use. You can just help to distribute the product even more and blend it out. Or you can use a tissue to blot them. This way you don't feel that you, the face too much shine. And that's what I normally do when I do makeup. And then a lot of questions asked is how long in between before you start makeup. 
it's up to you but I like to leave the skin with the moisturizer for a few minutes so let the skin soak in with all the product before I start my foundation if you don't have that kind of time I suggest that in the morning you use skincare go make your breakfast come back do your makeup for foundation and concealer today I'm going to use the Le Beige foundation and the concealer both are from Chanel the foundation is light to medium coverage foundation it is actually a very very gorgeous foundation for those who doesn't like too much coverage keep the skin sheer still get a little coverage but not overly cover everything and I love this foundation very much Natalie have beautiful skin just a little bit redness around here that's all she needs to cover I don't want a cake in the whole thing with a lot of foundation and I just blend out mainly on the center and blend it out this is the foundation brush from Rose and Ben this is a beautiful vegan brush if you guys want to try they blend really well for foundation and I love that they have a really big handle you know I love when it's easier to blend like this For this foundation, if you need more, you can build this more. But Natalie, I think that's all she needs. She doesn't need heavier than that. There you go. You see this foundation quite beautiful. I didn't put too much, a tiny bit, and I blend it out. It still gives you a good coverage, but you can see all your natural skin shine through. For the concealer, I'm using number 10 and I use a concealer brush from Rose and Ben as well. This is a great concealer brush. Go all the corner easier like this. And if you want to get more coverage, you can use the tippling motion like this or you can use your finger that's the way you can blend out easier I also use a little bit around the nose this is also a beautiful concealer formula if you don't want too heavy of the coverage it's covered well but feel very light on the skin And then you use a little brush. This is the eyeliner brush, but I use as a pinpoint anything I want to cover extra. Natalie have beautiful skin, beautiful bone structure. I don't need to contour anything at all but because of the look I'm doing is more a monochrome natural makeup I'm going to use a bronzer stick from Red Beauty this one just give you a tiny bit color it's the same idea contour but I just want you to know that like not everyone need contour I'm doing this just give her a little color and I use a tiny bit deeper than I should but you can always blend it out if you're not good at blending use the lighter shade than this I just use a little bit deeper shade just so I can scope her face a little bit even more and you can see that I just blend it out a little bit around here and blend it out A little bit on the jawline but the formulation is very similar to the cream blush they have it's very easy to blend I do the same on this side same bronzer stick that I just give Natalie a little more color little sun kiss 
I'm gonna do a little bit around the nose as well. For powder, I'm going to use the new loose powder from Rare Beauty as well. A tip when you do powder, you know, especially under the eye, look up for me. You see sometimes you have a little crease after the concealer before you set. Make sure you blend it out again, close your eye, before you set because whatever crease that's still there, you set the powder, it will stay like that. So make sure it's all blended before you set your powder. And you see, I do a little bit under the eye area. And the rest of the face. This is just a light powder. And I like this powder because it still gives you that natural sheen. It doesn't matte the skin too much. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Glow Wish from Huda Beauty. The shade is tan light. It's very beautiful bronzer. It has a little sheen. And I'm using this to set anywhere that I put the cream bronzer earlier. I say every video, you don't have to do exactly the way I do. You can just use a powder to set. It's just personal preference. I like to set with a deeper shade of bronzer. A little bit around the nose. For eyebrow, Natalie already has beautiful eyebrow. Generally, you just need to gel it up and to go. But I want you to how to enhance more, even you have beautiful eyebrow. So I'm gonna use a pencil and a brow marker, both of them from Kevin Ucon Cosmetic. And I'm using a light color, very light, the lightest one I have. And the first one is just a pencil. So as you can see right now, Nally, very full and beautiful, but I find them, you could extend them a little longer. So what I'm gonna use, I use a pencil to draw them a little longer. You can just use one product and you just, you know, fill in the eyebrow the way you need. But I like to use different products for different purposes. And then do the same on this side. So you see that I use the pencil just extend the brow a little longer. And the next step, I'm using the marker. I just draw a few individual hair where I see some gap. I just filled it in, and I find that this way the eyebrow will get look full but still natural. Sometimes when you use a pencil, you fill in everything, it doesn't give you the same effect. And that's the reason why I use the marker for because the felt is so fine that it's easier to create individual hair. It's something like that. And I'm going to use the gel side to gel the hair up as well. Yeah, and it's something like that. For the eye, I'm going to use an eyeshadow palette from Gucci and an eyeshadow stick from Bobbi Brown, mascara from Byredo. To start, I'm using this long wear eyeshadow stick from Bobbi Brown. Remember, this is a long wear choppy stick, so it dries pretty fast. And I do a little bit like that to get a lot of depth on the lash line area. And as you can see, I just use the blending brush and I blend it out. And I'm doing the same on this side. Look up for me. And what I'm gonna do I use the same blending brush, remember to get more pointy one, and use a little bit of the shadow, create a little depth 
from the outer part. Something like that to start. Next, this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. They have so many amazing colors, but then the look I'm doing pretty natural, so I'm using T shape right here, around here. Look up for me. I use this kind of blending brush, more flat brush. I do along the lower lash line where I used the pencil earlier. Close your eye. The same thing on the upper eyelid. I try to use this kind of flat blending brush just so you can have more control of the color deposit. Sometimes when you use the big blending brush, I find the color get everywhere. And this is so much easier when you do uh, with a flat blending brush. But again, personal preference, use what works for you. Close your eye. This eyeshadow is really beautiful texture. I can't wait to try other shades for a different video. Use the lighter color here, a little bit on the inner corner. Same both sides. And then I also chin up a little bit. You a little bit along the brown bone. I know this is how we learn when we start doing makeup and now it's like a no-no but sometimes it's actually really nice and you see i just press the color in for now because i don't want to disturb the shape the eyebrow i do earlier i tell you how you're going to blend after and then you the blending brush that you use from the other color close your eye for me and you just blend the edge it out and you just go back with your other color or the light color so the edge it doesn't look too harsh. It's everything softer and blended. Same thing on this side. Close the eye for me. So it's something like that. Next, you use the chubby stick again. You can use that. Look up for me on the lash line as well for me and this is the eye it's gonna look a little undone a little smoky but it's very soft effortless look up for me so what you're gonna do is use a little bit of the pencil stick earlier you can create even more depth again look up for me a little bit on the outer part. Close your eye. A little bit on the outer part. You don't have to. I just give you all the detail and you can decide how you want to do it. I always curl the lashes before mascara. For mascara, I'm using two coats of this Barreto mascara. This is more a lengthening and defining mascara. It gives you a little volume, but not tons of volume. And it's really nice and defined the lashes. And the whole point of the mascara look I'm doing is very natural. I'm not trying to make the lash look too much volume. So this mascara is perfect for it. I also use one coat on the lower lashes as well. I think the eye looks really beautiful. It's effortless, it's a little smudgy. And for the blush, I'm going to use a palette from Anastasia Beverly Hill. This is the shade I'm using. It's very muted, very soft as well. And you see how I use a blush? Very little. And I just press like this. Don't swirl onto the blush because you get too much and it may be a mess. You see how I apply everything very gentle, very little. You don't need too much. I 
and you do the same on this side. This is a very beautiful blush. It's buildable, so just you a little bit at a time. For highlighter, I'm going to use this highlight from REM. It's quite a beautiful highlighter. It's more a creamy powder finish, which I like. And just use a fan brush, just a little bit. You don't want to put too much because it does give you a lot of sheen already. You don't have to go heavy on. You see that the way I do, just so gentle. Little highlight here and there where you want to bring out the sheen. For lips, I'm going to use an all over color pencil for Makeup Forever. This is called Endless Cacao. It's more a neutral taupey brown shade. And this lipstick from Sisley. So basically, I'm give Nally is still her lip color would better, just a little more defined. Really, that's what I'm trying to do. To start, I line Nally's lips a little bit. Smile for me. A little less, yeah. And you can see this is more taupey color, but you can always blend it out after. And what I'm trying to do now is I do the lip liner mainly on the bottom area and the upper lips area. She have a beautiful lip shape. I'm not gonna cheat too much. The next step, you use a small blending brush and you fade it out the lip liner up to the corner of the lips. And I know it's a similar idea if you do for the eye. It, you know, it's just that's the idea that you do the same thing. You just blend it out the edges. So it doesn't feel like you draw the whole thing with the lip liner. Smile for me a little bit. It gives the lips quite a beautiful shape. You can see that. Next, after you blend it out like that, you the lipstick. You can use directly from the bullet. I just used with the brush, so I took out a little bit. Slightly smile for me. You can see this color is really beautiful and muted. And you go over top a little bit to blend out where you did the liner earlier. If you don't like the way I do with the lips like this, you can just apply normal. You know, I just create a little bit interesting in the lip shape that to show you guys a different way I do lips when I do on the client. Big smile. You see the whole idea of do that technique of the lips. It just create more fullness on the top and the bottom. And you know sometimes when you create a shadow there, it's actually make the lips look like a more powdier. And that's the whole idea I was trying to do. To complete the look, I'm going to set Nally makeup with a setting spray from One Side Beauty. This is a matte setting spray. This is the final look, guys. I hope you like the look. It's an effortless, smudgy, neutral eye makeup and a softer lip color. This for someone who want done, undone makeup. I hope you like it very much. Thank you, Jacob, so much for doing this beautiful hair. And I was thinking I might do a hair series and you can leave some of the comments what kind of hair look you would like Jacob to do tutorial on. Thank you, Nally, so much for coming to the channel. I hope you give the video a thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you so much again for watching.